Hi, I'm Jules Hurst with Etiquette Consulting Inc. And today I am talking about the formal way to write names on an invitation. Any kind of invitation can be meaningful to the person receiving it. And the invitation is what makes people come to the party. Here are a few things to keep in mind when it comes time to writing, to writing names on the invitation. Abbreviations should never be used in the wording of the invitation, with the exception being for titles such as Dr., Mr., and Mrs. Whose name should go on the invitation? The names of the host and the honoree should always be on every invitation. It doesn't matter if it's an invitation for a birthday party, cocktail party, or even an anniversary party. You need to let your guests know who is giving the party and who the party is for. When a couple is hosting, you would list them together, such as Mr. and Mrs. Adam Smith request the pleasure of your company. When, when one or more of the hosts has a title, it becomes a little trickier. The person with the title normally goes first, unless it is a military title. If one of the hosts is a doctor, you would list the doctor first, no matter if they were male or female. For example, Dr. Beth Jones and Mr. Mike Jones, when they are both doctors, they would be listed as the Dr. Jones or Dr. Mike Jones and Dr. Beth Jones. If one of the hosts is a judge, they will be listed as the Honorable Jane Smith and Mr. Steve Smith. If one of the hosts holds a religious post, they would be listed as the Reverend and Mrs. John Smith. For military titles, the civilian is always listed first and you should use the term retired if applicable. For example, Mrs. Josephine Smith and Captain John Smith, U.S. Army, retired. It is very important to properly list the hosts and honorees on your invitation. Although there are many different possibilities, always verify your host names to make sure their names are the way they want them before having the invitation printed. I'm Jules Hurst with Etiquette Consulting, Inc. Thanks for watching.